I'm here in front of the, as I was saying, and I'm just trying to find a, a better composition. Most likely what is best is obviously to have the tripod right here in the water, but then again, they may not be the best idea today because the water is coming very quickly. I'm just going to put it into photo mode, one over 16 maybe. 15 of a second and let's see what the aperture does yeah that's it then i'm just going to go into off oh the water is coming what we need basically now is an andy grad man we have to move quickly. Let me put this in here. This is the filter thread. This is filter itself, the filter ring. So F16, that means one minute. I'm not too fussy today, one minute will do. I just need now a filter to it's perfect. Three stops to tame the sky. And let's see now how that goes. Now what comes next is the big stopper, which will give me exactly one minute. And I hope it's not too long for this blistery day. Oh my god, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Let me see what I can do from this angle. Landscape photography is not a joke, especially in these long exposures where no matter how good your intentions are, it's just that the nature won't let you do it. It's, it's too much wind and... Now obviously this may work as a much faster shutter speed, it's just that not what I'm doing and I don't just like to snap it and go home. I just want to put a little bit technique into it. Yeah, not bad either. Not bad at all. Now, we don't really have details in the ship itself because it's unfortunately, it's, uh, it is what it is. Like there are not too many details. It's, it's a huge dynamic range scene. Uh, unfortunately, that's what it is, but it definitely works for a minimalistic approach. I have to, I have to come closer and shoot for much closer just to get another perspective i'm happy with that let me check the focus on that and it's obviously shaky a little bit <laughs> but hey it is what it is i i knew that all right another composition kind of similar now i'm focusing only on the big rack and as you can see the water is coming closely oh my god yeah, well, imagine if you are one hour late, you won't be able to do anything. It's just it will be underwater and it is what it is. We have a minute now. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think, guys, I need to, to do justice for this scene and to get the small rack as well obviously this is the shipwreck that i want to capture yeah done and done wow beautiful beautiful what is the focus focus is approximately <laughs> it's all right it's acceptable it's expected it is what it is i'm going on the opposite side two one that's it we'll check the image at the shore let's see oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah what can i say man what can i say but we have to come back in a different day <laughs> we have to come back in a different day when there is less wind
I took a while and I, I grabbed some photos of the lighthouse here in uh, Mortington. Minimalistic approach, light was so-so, but again, the colors are very muted and very simplistic. I don't even have to make it black and white. It will simply look good as it is. Now I'm uh, looking for the Irish shipwreck, which is here since 1974. The water almost eat everything out of it, but it still can create a little bit of minimalistic composition. I've been here two weeks ago, but it was very windy today. Hopefully uh, I will get much more stable shots because obviously there is no wind. It's absolutely perfect. The water is like uh, almost at the perfect level uh, and there's no wind. I have recorded a little bit of ambient with my Tascam X8 just to preserve the authenticity of this place because every time you come here, light and sounds are completely different compared to what you may find the next day. We'll go now to the shipwreck. I found this minimalistic composition again. I'm in Mornington near the Irish shipwreck. But now I have found in the water a little bit of a nice composition. There are like two pillars, two small stones. I wouldn't call them uh, groins, sea groins, because they will do nothing. But I'm trying to see how will that look in a minimalistic approach. So why not, you know, doing what we do best, and that is using a six or ten stop handy filter on top of uh, my 28 to 200 millimeter lens and try to get this minimalistic composition hopefully the water won't engulf it uh, that quickly yeah it's kind of kind of cloudy day today not too many too much details but there are some details in the sky nevertheless uh, we'll see what we get. I'm here again for the shipwreck and obviously <laughs> let's aim for one of eight of a second. Let's see the comp uh, yeah, somewhere at F16 will be F22, F16. One eighth of a second. Maybe I'll make it shorter this time. <laughs> Big leaf filter coming. Yeah, it's, it's quite clean. And obviously what we are missing now is the remote control which I have here. My trusty remote control. Camera is set to to manual focus, like always. And uh, we turn it on. Fire away. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, wow. Here we are, tripod is ready. Let me just find, fine tune this composition. Uh, it will go that way. I'm just going to place the lighthouse at the rule of thirds and why not? In the left upper corner and again, probably I'm going to aim for at least two minutes composition and for that we are losing light but still still plenty left it's quite bright you know so f16 i don't really like f16 but what can i do we have to do this i'm not quite happy with the composition as, oh, as it is again oh my god the water is coming from all over the place it's actually better <laughs> 200 millimeters. So for the moment, this is what I'm looking at. You still, there is still a little bit of, of, 
of the shore that you can see in the image, but it probably if we wait another 10 minutes, probably less than that, that will be engulfed in water. So it will work. It's just a matter of, of time. I'm going to get the horizon line just at the lower part of the image. I think it will look best. And what else I have to do now is to simply prepare. Yeah, this is kind of wet a little bit, not too bad. I have to prepare the ND filter. So, two minutes and we'll see how it goes. I think, I think it will look good, uh, two minutes, smoothing the water and very stable shot. There is no wind or very little wind, though it's kind of, kind of, kind of cold, but I think we'll make it, yeah. I set to exposure to one, one over one and fifty, one minute and fifty seconds. Come on, that was not that hard. And it's just that I like it very much. It's, I'm using this time a reverse handy grad. And because as you can see, the horizon line is the one that is the brightest. So a uh, regular, uh, regular handy grad would not do the job that great, I think. Uh, reverse is much better. Again, I'm using the 10-stop ND filter and I'm quite happy. I took only three exposures, not too many, because, well, for obvious reasons. Let me see how that looks like. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. And obviously you won't be able to, to move around that much uh, you just have only this semicircle here to get your composition right. It's nothing much, but it's, it's worth. It's a subject that it, it, it's in a few years it will be nothing left. So it's just part of the history. That was it for today. And there's no nobody here on, on the shore, man. It's, it's like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's Saturday. What people are doing, they are not swimming. <laughs> it's crazy. All right.